biggest victories of your career? That's what it's about. It's what true champions do. You know, fighters fight. And boys that'll fight anyone. And I'm not just proving that by fighting the most avoided guy in boxing, but come to his backyard to do so. So, Absolutely. you know, well, we're confident. I've had 24 tests before and come on, on top 24 times. So, I'm more than ready, you know. And um, it's, it's about making history and it's a big fight. You know, life's a, not just boxing, life's about testing yourself. And that's what I'm doing here. It's Absolutely. the hardest test ahead of me and I'm excited. I'm ready. Yeah, um, um, there's a lot of boxers that dare to be great to uh, move up in the divisions, and, and some don't take that. Coming into Sabrina Matias' backyard, you know, and, and with the crowd factor and everything, your your focus, laser, how, how's training been? Training's been good, it's the best camp we've had. You know, um, you know the task ahead of us, we know what we're coming into, we're coming into the lines, and you yes. know, but, um, Full respect to Matias, he's a hell of a champion and I look forward to sharing the ring with him on Saturday. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's going on Liam? This is Mill City Boxing. So man, um what you think about this fight? Do you think it's going twelve rounds? Um we're just gonna have to wait and see. You know, we've got a game plan, we're gonna execute that. Um now we both can punch, so it's gonna be exciting, you know, the fans are gonna win in this fight for sure. Leonard Elby says that Subban Matias is not the boogeyman. What do you think about that? Well, look, I think I think actions speak louder, and he's um, the most avoided at the moment. So um, we're just proving that we'll fight anyone like I said it always would. And yeah, I'm excited to get in there Saturday. Why do you think he's the best 140 pounder in the division? I mean, it's, it's just proven. It's just, I think more the uh, the whole avoided part about it um, makes him skip like the so-called boogeyman. You know, um, he, he's proven he's a good, he's a good champion. But um, I feel like we've got the tools to get, to get the job done. So. We're just going to see Saturday, and um, we've had a, we've got a perfect prep, and yeah, I'm ready. It's okay. my time. Excuse me, uh, Salah El Bayer, Nuevo Yes. Hi, how are you? Uh, less than a week for the fight. Where are your, your feelings right now? We're feeling good, feeling relaxed, um, excited. It's uh, the main feeling here. You know, um, the hard work we've done, so we're days away. It's um, the final part of prep, and you know, go willing, go and get the job done on, on Saturday night. <laughs> you said in a press, in a press briefing that we at what she said to us, that you said you have the, the tools to win the fight. What are those tools? Um, we just believe we've got a good boxing market, we've got a good game plan, I've got the best coach in Alfie DiCarlo, we've set a good plan and uh, had a good sparring, good preparation. So, you know, uh, I want it more, I'm very hungry and yeah, it's, it's going to be an exciting fight. What do you think you're going to see Saturday? Definitely going to see fireworks, definitely. It's, um, it's styles make fights and these are two styles that go head to head, you know, we're both hearts of lions and um yeah we're gonna give it all on saturday what about your weight i'm perfect there's no no weight issues i'm eating perfect i'm comfortable and um never been an issue i'm ready i'm always ready i'm a professional and that comes down to making weight perfectly how you feel the, the atmosphere here as, as a visitor do you feel comfortable i love it i love puerto rico it's first time here it's a beautiful country beautiful part of the world very blessed to come here and um no, I'm, I'm, it's a very humble experience. It's good, and um, I'm, I'm excited to give your champion a hell of a fight. You, you know, used, you, you're used. Sorry, you're used to to, to to be a visitor. What? You're used to be a visitor, fighting. Ah, uh, yeah, I've always been an underdog. You know, I've always on the road, and um, it's just it's, it's, it's I've got my mind on the job. You know, I've got a ton of vision, and I'm here to do a job, and that's what we're gonna execute on Saturday. Do I recognize as a technical fighter what are your strategies for this fight in Saturday? Uh, we're not going to give too much away, you know, we're just going to box, we're going to, we, we can get in there and fight, you know, all round, uh, sound all round, so uh, we're ready to give it everything we How has been the preparation for the fight? Perfect, can't be better. And, and how do you believe you're going to stand the, your ambitious string against Matias? What's that? How do you believe are you going to stand your ambitious string against Matias in his own country? Of course, we're fighters, we've all got to be confident, you've got to have self-belief, and I have heaps of self-belief. Um, so every fighter is going to be, um, believe in themselves. If not, you shouldn't be fighting, and uh, of course I believe I'm going to win. Matias is saying you're talking a lot of shit, you have a big mouth, what would you have to say about that? Uh, well, I don't, I don't speak shit, I'm very humble and very respectful, I've always been like that, and um, yeah, it's just the way it is. What makes you think, what, what do you think why he said that? Uh, I don't know. But you haven't said anything me. in the media? No, I don't think so, so I don't know, it is what it is, you know. Hey Liam, seeing that you say that he's the most avoided fighter out of all the 140 pound champions, is he the one you want? Of course, this is the biggest name, you know, like he's the number one guy in the division, I believe, at this time. So, you take Matias out and then you're straight up to the top spot. There's, that's what it's about, you got to aim for the top, you know. If you don't want to, if you don't want to beat the best, 
the end of the wrong sport. What do you think of the matchroom promo, you guys facing off at the beach? What do you think about that? No, it's good, you know, like I said, Puerto Rico is a beautiful country. It's a, it's a nice year, it's a black paradise. So, um, that's a beautiful setting, it's good. It's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying my time here so far. Who's your favorite uh, Australian boxer? Favorite Australian boxer? Uh, of all time? Well, you can't look past the Jeff Fennick, he's done the most for Australian boxing. Mm -hmm. What makes you feel like you can pull the upset? Uh, I believe in myself, self-belief, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know, I just I just believe in my ability. I've, I've showed that 24 other times, you know, I've been seen as the underdog and um, we always come out on top. It's just the preparation, the self-belief and yeah, we're ready to get the job done. Shakur Stevenson says that, you know, he knows exactly how this fight's going to be playing out. He said that he shared the ring with you. He said early you. It's um, Matias Stoppage. What would you have to say? We're just going to have to wait and see. The, the, the Matias have been, and some people say that every boxer against Matias doesn't walk out of the ring, always knock out. What you have to say about that? Well, look, his record speaks for itself. Like I said, I'm not looking past Matias. He's a tremendous champion. And, uh, yeah, I said his record speaks, but, you know, I, I believe in my ability that we can get the job done. Do you feel like the A side or the B side in this fight, knowing that you've been with Eddie for such a long time? Well, look, I'm coming to the champion's backyard to take his belt, so I know I'm the opponent here, and we knew the, the task ahead of us. I've always been an underdog, and I love to prove critics wrong. Do you think that the performance with uh, Montana Love is the reason why you're here today? Definitely. It definitely uh, put me back on the scene where, right where I needed to be after a year of injuries. It was the perfect um, skyrocket to title intentions, and look, six months later, here we are. So. I definitely needed to make the statement I did against Montana Love. Okay, what, that's the same thing that. What, what, what the question? What last question? Huh? The time. What is the same thing? It is a total family over everything. Huh? Family, family over, over everything. everything. Okay, one last question. Liam Power, a real road warrior. You're used to coming in and traveling. You know the crowd's not going to get to you. This is your dreams. This is your night. If you have one thing to say to the people, what would it be? Um, look forward to tuning in. You're tuning in for this fight. It's going to be fireworks and um. I believe I can get the job done. Absolutely. Okay, thank you guys. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck.